Hello, my name is Natalia. I am a senior white tiger qigong instructor. And today we continue to look into some of the qigong forms that are especially beneficial to those of you who spend their time working at the computer. One of the issues when we work at the computer is this chest contracted position that we have to hold for hours at a time. I mean, we don't have to, but we usually do because this is the most comfortable position to work at the computer. However, when we keep that chest contracted position, we have meridians tangled, we have compression on our organs, which creates this imbalances in our body, which creates the stagnation. And moreover, sitting in this contracted position for from day after day is what changes your alignment as well. Your body starts to adjust and this compressed position becomes your natural alignment. And then it's really hard to straighten your spine and keep your body upright. That is why it's very crucial to work on that issue to make sure we always have this nice alignment through our bodies. So one of the most beneficial forms for it is tiger from five elements because tiger targets that tightness that you can have in your chest and in your shoulders and it opens you up deeply moreover when we work at the computer we also have our wrists in a pretty fixed position which again creates the stagnation and blockages and in tiger we are going to do this full rotation through the wrist to stimulate the energy flow through our arms and also targeting our fingers. So it's just a beautiful form to stimulate this energy flow, to work with your tight shoulders and chest. And also Tiger is working deeply on the lungs. And in Chinese medicine, our lungs are associated with grief and stress. So with Tiger, we can also release this grief and stress and instead bring in joy and happiness. So let's get right into it. First, we will do the tiger while sitting on a chair. So you know how to do it if you don't want to leave your desk and if you just want that energy flow and if you want to bring in that openness. So we're going to start with the hands by the sides and we're going to make the tiger close by bending the first and the second joints of your fingers. Here in this tiger claws, we hold about 30% of the tension. So don't uh, put too much tension here, just about 30%. And then we're going to extend our arms forward, keeping this 90 degree angle in your wrists. And we're going to circle our arms outwards and bring them back to center twisting in through your palms and bring your palms towards your armpits again forming this 90 degree angle in your wrists and then just extend your arms to the back straightening your elbows circle and drawing your hands back to center rotating in through your wrists through your arms and pressing forward. Rotate, drawing your hands back to center, opening your chest, making sure your palms are turned inwards and bring your palms as close as you can to your armpits and straighten your arms to the back. If you could see, my fingers are facing down, so I still hold that 90 degree angle and then again rotate full circle and draw your hands back to center, opening your chest here, pressing forward, compressing your chest slightly, rotate again, opening your chest fully. And as you press to the back, we're going to keep a straight and elongated spine. Let's do one more. Open. And pressing forward. And relax. So this is how you can do the tiger just for your upper body while you sit at the computer. And now let's learn it in a horse stance because this is how we would usually do our tiger. So here you're going to step out in the horse stance. 
by keeping your feet out at a 45 degree angle and keeping your knees pointing to the same direction as your feet. Bring your hands by the sides, make the tiger claw and we are going to press forward, rounding our spine, circling your palms outwards and draw them back to center, opening your chest here, pressing to the back, straightening your spine and again circle, opening your chest and pressing forward. Let's add the breath now, inhale, exhale, inhale and hold your breath for a few seconds and exhale pressing forward, inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Let's do one more. And we're going to come up, stepping forward, stepping in, inhale and exhale, pressing forward and down. Bring your hands by the sides, feet shoulder width apart and just observing any sensations, any feelings you have in your body. Deep breaths into your lungs. If you remember, the lungs is the organ that the tiger works on. And we're going to take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, releasing grief and stress from your lungs. As you inhale, filling your lungs with joy and happiness. And bringing in white light into your lungs. It's a metal element. And bring your hands by the sides. Again, just a few deep breaths into your lungs on the exhale, releasing any grief and stress that's still left. And as you inhale, filling your lungs with joy and happiness, filling them with white light. And notice how they're just getting completely filled with this beautiful white light. Bring your hands over the dantian and notice how this white light is sinking down, forming a small white pearl in your lower dantian. On the inhale, the pearl expands, absorbing all the chi, and on the exhale, it condenses, packing the energy. Inhale and exhale, condensing this chi. One more breath and storing all the chi into a small white pearl and gently open your eyes. So today we learned the tiger from the five elements and tiger qigong targets tight shoulders and chest, promotes this chi flow through our arms targeting the fingers, the wrists, and also releasing grief and stress from the lungs and instead filling them with joy and happiness. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you find this form very beneficial for your daily work and I'll see you for the future videos.